So this book is intended for anybody who has to grapple with the application of human rights law during armed conflict. So really anybody who's engaged with the legal regulation of situations of armed conflict. And our focus is very explicitly on the practitioner, so on the military lawyer. And the idea is to offer them concrete guidance and advice in specific situations as to the legal rules that will apply. In order to do that, we try to address things from a very practical perspective, so writing in quite straightforward terms, but also to encapsulate the, the full spectrum of military operations. So we look at things like the conduct of hostilities, detention operations, belligerent occupation, naval operations, searches, what happens at a checkpoint and so on. And again, the idea is really to say that in this specific situation, this is the, the legal framework that applies. So one of the, the traditionally difficult areas to regulate when we think of the application of the law of armed conflict and human rights law is the use of force, because they both establish very different standards. So the law of armed conflict allows you to use direct lethal force against a, a combatant or an individual engaged in directly participating in hostilities, while human rights law says that force should only be used as a last resort and the objective should be the protection of life. Clearly, these are two very, very different standards. So what we've tried to do is to, to reconcile them and to understand how they relate in, in armed conflict. And we've developed a framework, or two frameworks really, that say in situations of active hostilities, we'll turn to the law of armed conflict first. And so from my example, that will be the framework that primarily regulates the use of force. Whereas in situations of security operations, which may be, say, a patrol during an occupation, human rights law will provide the primary framework. And the law of armed conflict will be applied in that context. So the idea is really to, to show that if you're operating in a specific situation, this is how the two bodies of, of law interrelate, and this is what it means for your own conduct of operations.